Good evening, people. I'll be back in a moment, okay? Okay. Okay, sir. Hello, people. One more time. I'm going to take the attendance tonight. Just let me open the attendance list. Okay. Okay, let's see, Alejandra Elizabeth Duran. Alejandra. Okay. Alejandra Maria Lemus. Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Ángel Isaac Cibrián. Blanca Estela Lara. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Teacher. Okay. Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado. Present teacher. Elba Esmeralda Figueroa. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Carlos López. Present teacher. Catherine Joana Calzadilla.
Kenia Roxana Ayala. Luis Miguel Mejía. María Delmi Hernández. I'm here. Good evening. Good evening. Marvin Alejandro Landa Verde. Present teacher. Welcome. Noé de Jesús Ambrosio. Sandra Lisette Elizondo. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Cindy Carolina Cruz. Úrsula Yamilet Cornejo. And Jim. Okay. And Jensi Carolina Magaña. Okay, pronunciation e exercise, which is about the contrast, uh, contrast, contrastive stress, stress in responses. That is that when you respond a question, uh, sometimes uh, it is necessary to use this this uh, stress to make uh, the difference. Okay, between the question and the answer. For example, let me show you here on the first conversation. We have two short conversations. For example, this one. The question is, is Anthony the one wearing the red shirt? And the answer is no, he's the one wearing the black shirt. You see the difference in the in the stress on the intonation? So it's different in intonation. Is Anthony the one wearing the red shirt? No, he's the one wearing the black shirt. There is an emphasis here. Yeah, to make a contrast between the one wearing the red shirt and the one wearing the black shirt. Then on the second example, in this conversation, it says, is Judy the woman on the couch? No, Diana is the woman on the couch. See the intonation is it's a little bit different because you want to emphasize that it's not Judy, the woman on the couch, but it's Diana. Is Judy the woman on the couch? No, Diana is the woman on the couch. Okay? So, with that in mind, let's practice this to exercises and I'm going to read the short conversation and I want you to tell me where uh, where is the stress in the answer where is the stress in the answer 
Okay. Listen to this first conversation. Britney. Is Britney the one sitting next to Katie? No, she's the one standing next to Katie. Where is the difference? Sitting and standing. Yeah. Ah. It's neg negative. No, we are talking about intonation. Yeah. Okay. Here is the difference. Is Brittany the one sitting next to Katie? No, she's the one standing next to Katie. No. See the difference in intonation. Yeah. Okay, okay, to make a to make a contrast between the question and the response. Then the second example. Is Donald. Is Donald the one on the couch? No, no he's the one behind the couch. Behind the couch. Where is the stress in the in the behind. answer? Behind. Ah, behind. it is this one behind, yeah. You make a different intonation to emphasize that Donald is not the one on the couch, but the one behind the couch. Yeah, just just to, to practice this intonation. So let me read the four conversations to uh, and record the pronunciation here in WhatsApp. Pronunciation, contrastive stress in responses. Conversation one. Is Anthony the one wearing the red shirt? No, he's the one wearing the black shirt. Conversation two. Is Judy the woman on the couch? No, Diana is the woman on the couch. Conversation three. Is Brittany the one sitting next to Katie? No, she's the one standing next to Katie. Conversation four. Is Donald the one on the couch? No, he's the one behind the couch. Okay. So please uh, repeat after me. Okay, repeat after me. Is Anthony the one wearing the red shirt? Is Anthony the one wearing the red shirt? No, he's the one wearing the black shirt. No, he's the one wearing the black shirt. Is Judy the woman on the couch? Is Judy the woman on the couch? No, Diana is the woman on the couch. No, Diana is the woman on the couch. Is Brittany the one sitting next to Katie? Is Brittany the one sitting next to Katie? No, she's the one standing next to Katie. No, she's the one standing next to Katie. Is Donald the one on the couch? Is Donald the one on the couch? No, he's the one behind the couch. No, he no, is the one, one behind, 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 the couch. behind the couch. Okay, very good. I will send you to working groups uh, five minutes just to practice this pronunciation exercise, okay? Practice the four conversations, please, in your small groups. So let me send you to working groups for a moment.
Okay, join the breakout rooms, please, and practice the four conversation with the pronunciation. Okay, you can listen to the audio in WhatsApp if you want to uh, review and practice. Okay, go to the breakout rooms, please, and practice the intonation or the pronunciation. I will share this in WhatsApp. Mm.
Okay. Let's continue now with this article about hip hop. Okay, let me see here. Reading hip hop style. Teenagers who listen to the same music often have a common look. One hot style in music and fashion is hip hop. Simply put, Hip hop is a type of urban music with a heavy beat. Typical hip hop fashions are loose fitting street clothes. The style includes baggy pants, sweatshirts, hiking boots, baseball caps, usually worn backward, jackets with sports logos, and expensive athletic shoes. In the hip hop style, Boys and girls often dress the same way. African-American kids in Detroit and Chicago first made hip-hop fashions trendy more than 20 years ago. They wore baggy street clothes to dance clubs. Then North American and European bands also began wearing this style. Thanks to the popularity of music videos and movies, hip hop soon became an international fashion sensation. Teens around the world, from Britain to South Africa to Japan, now wear hip hop clothing. 17 year old Melanie Barrow of Manchester, England says, My pride and joy in life are my Levi's jeans. In the United States, teens spend a lot of money on hip-hop fashions. David Bowen, 17, of Evanston, Illinois, has five pairs of hiking boots, each costing around $100. David says, they're popular because a lot of hip-hop performers wear them. Okay. Reading Hip Hop Style Okay There you have the pronunciation of this art Okay What happened here? Oh, my mouse battery is dying. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now, here we have fine words from the article. Oh, 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 I have the answers here. Wait, 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 don't look. I need to erase the answers. <laughs> Okay, 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 where am I? Give me a second, I need to erase it. I'm so slow, you don't need to work. I just copy the answers. Okay. Now I can show you the, the article again. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, look at this vocabulary. These words from the article. Look. Urban. Beat. Loose fitting. Sensation. Pride and joy. And here we have the meaning. Appearance. Popular trend. Hit from big cities, musical rhythm, something to be proud of, very large, baggy. So tell me, what is the meaning of look? Appearance. Letter A. Appearance. Appearance. Yeah. Letter A. Okay, let me write here. Letter A. I said letter A. I said again. <laughs> okay, finally, letter A. Then urban. What is the meaning of urban? Very large. Popular trend. From big cities. From big cities. Yes, from, from big, big cities. cities. Urban. From big cities, correct. So, it's letter B, right? What's the meaning of beat? Musical rhythm. Musical, musical rhythm. Musical rhythm. Okay, letter D. Wow, what is that sound? <laughs> like a fan, I think. Loose fitting. What is loose fitting? Popular trend height. No. No. Very large bag. Very large baggy. Yes, very large. Baggy. Baggy. Letter F. What's the meaning of oh. what's the meaning of sensation? Popular train here. Yes, popular trend is. And of course, the last one. Pride and joy. Pride and joy is something, something to be proud of. To be proud of. Yes, something to be proud of. Okay, very good. Look. Appearance. Urban from big cities. Beat, musical rhythm. Loose feeding, very large, baggy. Sensation, popular trend or hit. Pride and joy, very large. No, I mean, <laughs> something to be proud of. <laughs> okay. Now... We have now uh, these questions from the article. Or questions. What is what? Okay, yes, I will give you time to respond the questions using the article, okay? All the answers are in the article. So please read the article again and search the answers, look for the answers to these six questions, okay? I will give you two minutes to do it. I will give you time. I will place this in 
WhatsApp as well to help you answer this question. And actually, the one on exercise C2. Well, Think about that. Music. Okay, I will also send you to working groups. So if you want, you can help each other to respond to questions, okay? Okay, go to the breakout rooms, try to work together. You can share the screen and respond to questions together, okay? Join the breakout rooms, please.
Okay, I like to see your answers. One second, I'm going to get the manual here. Okay. American band. What is hip hop music? Tell me. It's a type, it's a type. of, of urban, urban music with a heavy urban beat. With a heavy beat. Urban music heavy. with a heavy, heavy beat. beat. Okay. What are hip hop fashion? Are loose fighting, street clothes, street clothes, baggy pants, sweat shirt, hiking boots, hiking boots, baseball, baseball cap, jacket. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Loose fitting street clothes, baggy pants. What else? Uh, sweat pants, sweat shirt. Hiking boots. Hiking boots. Hiking boots. Baseball cap. Baseball cap. Um, jacket yeah. in sports logo. Okay, and that's enough. <laughs> I don't have more room. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. Where did hip hop fashions begin? In Detroit, Detroit and Chicago. And Chicago. With yes. a first American, mm -hmm. African American. Okay. In Detroit, say the. Um, uh, made hip hop trendy, fashion trendy. Okay. And, and then the mm -hmm. North American European band. Also began wearing this style. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah. when did hip hop fashions become popular? Yeah. When? 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 <laughs> when <laughs> hip hop Fashion become when, popular when they wore Peggy Street clothes to dance clubs. When is is uh, it more than twenty years ago? Yeah, that is more than twenty years ago. Why did hip hop become a fashion sensation? Well, Thanks to the with, popularity of music the, video, uh, video uh, and movie. North American bands wearing this style. Mm, no, we're not talking about this. Uh, okay. Thanks to what? Oh, oh, tell me again. Thanks to popular popularity popular popularity music of music, music video and uh, movies. movies. Okay. And hip -hop says, Soon became an international fashion sensation. Okay. Why are hiking boots popular? Oh, why? Uh, because the dance, the dancers, I think. At the end, the last line. Because oh. a lot of hip hop performers wear them. A lot of hip hop performers wear them only. Let me say. Yeah. Because a lot of hip hop performers wear them. Okay. Then. Which hip hop fashions do you like? 
Do you like any of these fashion? I don't like this much. No. <laughs> the music, yeah, I like. Uh, you like hip hop music? Ah. Uh, um, yeah. Um, okay. Okay, very good, people. Now, just let's take a look to start with this unit, with the next final unit. So, this vocabulary about fun things to do. A guide to entertainment. Fun things to do. Some examples. Sing in a karaoke bar. Have you ever done that? Have you ever Never. sung in a karaoke bar? Never, teacher. I only yes. sing in the bathroom. In the shower, <laughs> please. <laughs> I sing with, um, um, with my friends. Ah, okay. Meaning of friends only. <laughs> okay. With some beers inside? <laughs> I don't uh, like beer. You don't like beer? Okay. No, I don't like beer. Wine? Rum? No, nothing. <laughs> okay. Wine, yes. Yeah. Wine, okay. I don't like wine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay, go to an internet, internet cafe. Have you ever gone to an internet cafe? Mm, yeah. Um. Yeah. Um, a few years ago, yeah. we didn't have internet yeah, yeah. at home. A few years ago. Yeah. Okay. Uh, try mountain biking. Have you ever tried mountain biking? Never, because I am so. Um. It's dangerous. <laughs> it is dangerous. Yeah, it is. I okay. okay. Nobody has tried mountain biking. Um. Have you ever gone ice skating? No. no, no. Oh, I never go ice skating. I never travel to the other it's my dream. <laughs> I never travel to the other country. In in our country, don't don't. Only yes, seen in the, yes. In the movie. I I remember. No, I remember some. Sometimes some uh, they make an ice skating. Uh, how you say? track or to to practice ice skating in some malls I don't remember if it was Plaza Merliot or multi no multi plaza no but many years ago I remember they came here yeah yeah okay okay and have you ever seen a live concert? Yes. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Years ago. Ah. Who did you see in a concert? I, I was. Uh, I see uh, Ricardo Arjona. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Daddy Yankee. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I go to see Scorpions. Scorpions. Oh, yeah. great. I like it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay. I have never been to a live concert. I Let me think. Well, sometimes, uh, but only, um, for example, for Christmas, where they go to a a, a park or a mall or a, 
But paying for a concert? No, I have never paid for a concert. Too crowded. Too many people. No, I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Very good. Well. Let me read this conversation just to have it ready for tomorrow and I will record it here. So you can listen to it. Conversation. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. <laughs> okay. okay so... <coughs> Muchas gracias. He has had too much fun so far. <laughs> Okay, people. La Biblia. La Biblia. <laughs> uh, we are going to stop here tonight. Tomorrow is our last class, and tomorrow we are going to finish with this. Okay. okay. You can take a look to the conversation if you want before tomorrow to be ready to practice. It. All right. Have a good night, people. Sleep well and see you tomorrow. Thank God tomorrow is Friday. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye, everyone. Sweet dreams. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.